Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Love Love Tuts, and today we're going to bring you part one of my favorite sketch shortcut tips. Now, these aren't just going to be keyboard shortcuts or, uh, you know, quick keys. We're going to show you things that can really speed up your workflow in using sketch and get you fluent to the point where you're just, your body's just doing exactly what your mind wants it to do. And that way the application gets out of the way and just lets you design. So check it out. We're going to show you some of those now. Okay, so I have five quick tips here that are going to make your Sketch 3 life even easier, if that's possible, okay? So the first thing we're going to talk about is exporting. Now, I have two separate tips for exporting, and both are excellent, okay? So the first one is going to be uh, exporting in multiple resolutions. So let's say we select this layer and we want to make a slice out of this layer. Uh, we can go ahead and do that by clicking insert, slice, and then just by just clicking on the shape here. Now we now have a, a uh, slice that's perfectly sized to this uh, button. And we have this export menu here that uh, shows up on the left hand in the inspector when you have the slice selected. Now what you'll notice here is that we have the ability to change the size for export. But what you might not have noticed is that there's a plus right here. So we can select this plus and we can say that we have a 1x version, a 2x version, and just by default it adds a 1.5x version. If you keep clicking this, it's going to give you uh, sizes that make the next most sense. And you'll notice that it gives you uh, a suffix. So the file name is actually going to have this at 2x on the end of it. So let's go ahead and click export. And I'm just gonna throw these um, onto my desktop, which is already cluttered enough right now. And we can open up my desktop and you can see exactly where they went. So at the top of our list of my desktop here, we now have four buttons and we have a flex button at normal size. We have one at 1.5 size two times the size and three times the size, all as PNGs, pings. We have them right here, and it was with literally one hit of enter really exported all of those. So that's really great if you're using responsive images. Um, obviously, you wouldn't need to have an image for a button like this, but if you are exporting images at multiple resolutions, which you probably are if you're supporting uh, higher res screens, then this is just made your life significantly easier. Okay. So that's one. So we have another tip for exporting, which is the drag to export. And this one's seriously cool because you might not have known this even existed. We can make this window smaller and we can literally click and drag this group. It doesn't even have to be a, a slice or anything. We can click and drag this folder group outside here, let go. And obviously we have a button named flex button already. Um, I click replace. And here it is. That's awesome. We just dragged off directly from the canvas. We didn't have to do anything and it saved it. Likewise, we could just drag this button off, uh, this BG layer, and there it is. So you can click anything in your layers menu here, drag it just right off to your desktop or wherever, and it automatically exports a ping for you. Okay, so that's two quick tips. Now we have three more. Uh, the next is going to be uh, quick keys. So you can get really fast at Sketch 3 by learning the keys. For instance, R gives you a rectangle. If nothing is selected, S gives you the slice tool. And you can learn what all of these are simply by going to your insert menu here and seeing that we have V for vector, P for pencil, and then our shapes L, R, O, and U. Now, some of our more complex shapes don't have shortcuts, but that's okay uh, because you probably won't be using those that much anyways. But need to quit, create a quick text layer, just go ahead and hit T and then click and then type something. Great. So that is number three, is the quick keys for access to inserting items onto your page. Now the fourth tip is that you can actually modify the interface here and so you can change what you actually have up in your menu here and the order that they exist. So we can get to that menu by clicking View, Customize Toolbar, 
and that gives us the opportunity to put anything that we use all of the time up top here and it even lets us click and drag and move things around so let's say you want the insert tool front and center you could have that right here let's say you didn't use the uh, magnifying glass because you're always hitting command plus or minus you can just drag that right off and there it's gone so that just opens up space for something else that you might want in fact I'd like the make a grid tool right here and we can throw that up let's actually put it closer to where the union and that stuff is over there Perfect, so we now have modified our menu and you can even have it just so it's just icons or just text and that might clean up the interface a little bit more for you. I prefer the icons and text, but that's just me. Okay, so now we just have one last tip and that is the ability to copy CSS directly out of Sketch 3. So let's say we had this button so let's say we wanted to copy the properties from this background uh, as we have it here. We're just going to want to make sure we select the background and then we can click. Well, it's a selecting this uh, slice right now. Let me get rid of that. Uh, all we need to do is click on the layer here, right click on it and do copy CSS attributes. Now if I go to a text editor and click paste, because I selected the entire group, it not only gave us the background color and the border radius that we were interested in for our button, but it also gave me the font family, the font size, the color, and the line height. So now this might be more than you needed. In fact, if we just needed the border radius in the background, all we have to do is actually right click on the background layer itself and then do copy CSS attributes. Now if we paste in, we're not going to get everything, but just the background color and the border radius that we wanted. Great, so those are five extremely useful Sketch 3 tips to improve your workflow. We have drag to export, multiple resolution export, we have interface adjustments, we have copy CSS directly from Sketch 3, and we have quick shortcut keys. So I have more quick tips that I'm going to share in other videos, but I think these five are good to get you started uh, ex really experimenting, exploring all of what Sketch 3 has to offer. So check it out. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Let me know what your favorite Sketch 3 tips are. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.